everyone and welcome back to the channel if you are new here please make sure that you have subscribed to the channel today we have with us joel johnson uh, it's quite a funny story how i met joel uh, joel is actually a student at arizona state university and uh, joel posted a video about waymo which is a self driving car that's operating currently in chandler arizona uh, it became super popular overnight so i reached out to joel on twitter he was super kind to basically respond to my tweet and then we exchanged our numbers and we planned this trip so i have come to phoenix right now from san jose uh, to meet joel and actually ride in a waymo car if you have not checked out the videos yet where i am riding in a waymo with joel go check it out the link will be in the description box let's just get to know what got joel into this and how has it been so far so joel when did you post the first video about this Um, it was the uh, middle of uh, middle of October, just about when I got access again. I've been riding with Waymo since about uh, June 2019, but I wasn't able to uh, post videos until this year. So, what has been like one of the most exciting things about the technology or Waymo itself that that has made you post two, two videos every week? Because I see that your frequency of posting videos has increased quite a bit since then. Uh, I've always just grown up really enjoying computers and technology and automation in general. So when I see that like a company that's really good at that is just opening up a program around like where I live, just to like, hey, come try this car out. I that that was the first time I saw that. I was really excited to try it out. So I I'm, I'm just kind of posting as many videos as I can just to get the message out. Like, hey, this thing exists and it's really cool. How many rides have you completed so far? Uh, about fifty, yeah. and you are not bored yet. Not yet. Nope. <laughs> How do you feel when you enter the car? This car starts driving on its own, and there is no one up front. Uh, do you ever feel unsafe, or were you feeling unsafe? And over time, the feeling went away because you started feeling that the car is safe now. It's. I think really figuring out the safety bit is is really tricky when you're when you're. I guess when you're a company, you try. How do we make the rider trust the car? Mm-hmm. And so of course at first I was really nervous. I was like, "How is it gonna drive?" You know, and when I first got in the car and I saw how it how it drives, it's really cautious. It shows you what it sees on the screen. That's a really big part of it is that it shows you what it can see, and I think that's really that's a big part of this the safety, the transparency. The so now over the rides, it's it's demonstrated that yes, it can drive. Yes, it's safe, and yes, it can see everything around it. So honestly, I'm really relaxed when I get in the car now. So. So it's yeah. like a usual Uber or Lyft ride for you now. Yeah, and you know, it greets me by name when I step in the car. You know, so that it's, it's just it feels like a premium experience. Do you remember any edge cases or any moments where you were taken by surprise and you just could not believe what just happened with the car? Any moments that you remember? Uh, there's been plenty of those, but the one big one has been. Uh, if you remember from the first Waymo video I posted at the beginning, it does that three-point turn. Yep. I think I expected it to get stuck. What I my whole goal with that was to get it stuck on video. So you purposely you purposely put the car into situations where it cannot navigate, yeah. or you think it cannot navigate. I'm, I'm trying to test it just to see what how it'll react, what it'll do, and. That absolutely blew me away when it, it just went like this, you know, it turned and then it backed up and then it went again. And I was like, okay, it just it just rolled with that. I was like, sure, why not? So I I was like, not what I was expecting at all, but honestly, I I was really impressed. So have you ever like tried out other self driving or close to self driving? I do not want to name any 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 company yeah. or any manufacturer, but have you ever tried out other technologies as well? And how do they sort of Uh, compare against Waymo. So a Tesla owner reached out to me and they offered to swap rides where they, like where they get. Uh, I show them Waymo, they'll show me Tesla. So from my, I got to go from like my house to the airport and back in a Tesla with FSD. So it handled the freeways and the the stuff. It, from my personal experience, it it feels more robotic and janky and. At a stoplight, I couldn't see a car one time. There, like, there were three cars in front of us, and one of them just didn't show up on the map screen. So, like, but it, it did get the stoplights, the traffic lights. It can do, it can do merges, it can do lane changes. So I was, re- it was better than I thought. I, there's every everyone, every company still has a long way to go, but just I'm just, I'm just here for the ride. I'm just want to see it, how it turns out. Yeah. So. Do you feel like that it could be 
one feature that can be introduced in Waymo that will make it even more premium for you. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, <laughs> I would say maybe eventually when they're comfortable enough, if I can choose like my own route or if I can play my own music in the car. I know that they have Google Play Music playlists, mm -hmm. but uh, like if I can just play something off my phone. That would be super cool. If I remember correctly, some of your videos also had your family members in the car. Yes. How was that experience? Um. Yeah. I've just I've just been talking to family members and friends, and so now all my like closest uh, people are are really aware of it because I am I am big into it and I tell them about it. So you know I try to like, hey, come ride with me. Just come come see it for your own eyes. You know, with your own eyes. So, yeah. And so every everyone that's been along with me has been like, wow, yeah, that's that's really a thing. You know, that's really impressive. So like everyone has always wanted to ride again. Nobody's been super scared of it. Nobody's been, yeah. So yeah. I'm hoping that your journey on YouTube and your rides with Waymo are going to continue. Yeah, me too. Uh, for the foreseeable future now. Uh, but thank you so much for doing this. Uh, not only the interview, but actually having me. This is my first experience where I'm coming to a completely different town, meeting a completely different person who I do not know. We've just chatted on Twitter, uh, but uh, he has been extremely welcoming, and uh, I've had a great experience with these rides. So, thank you again. Sure. For anyone who wants to check out Joel's videos, his channel's link is in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. I think I found another spot that might be able to actually get it stuck this time. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, so yeah. that's coming up in your yeah, next video. Yeah. Uh, a reason now that you subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video for any reason, make sure you hit the like button. Press the bell icon as well so that you get notifications on time for any upcoming content. Thank you. Yeah.